Hey guys, welcome to my university. In this episode, we will be talking about specialization and why it is very important to choose one. When you go for your masters, you tend to take subjects or you pursue research in a particular area of study. This area of study is called specialization. When you apply to an university, you need to first check if that university does provide courses and support research programs that are related to your area of interest. Say that you are interested in pursuing your masters in mechanical engineering. When you were an undergrad, you took around 60 to 67 subjects in different areas of mechanical engineering. Most of them are theoretical and you know if you went to an average engineering college, most likely there is a set curriculum that you follow and you just prepare for the exam. Now on the other hand, when you come here for masters, you basically try to dive deep into one particular area. So to continue my example, say that you did very well in thermodynamics and heat transfer when you were in undergrad. Then you know a couple of areas where you can specialize is you know thermal systems, computational fluid dynamics, energy systems and even automotive engineering. One other thing that I would like to add is just because you get very good marks in a particular subject doesn't mean that that is going to be your area of specialization. There is a good chance that it can be but you cannot be 100% sure and here is why. For the master's program the way the courses are conducted is completely different. In India you have a semester exam and before the semester exams you have a couple of series tests where you just write answers to a bunch of questions and then get marks for it. However here your grades are split into homeworks, midterm project, final project and paper reviews. When I talk about project and I can say this very confidently that the projects that you do during your master's degree each and every project is easily going to be 2x times better than your final engineering project. Again, this would be applicable for most of the students. There might be exceptions. Because of this lack of exposure, it is very easy to think that the subjects that you scored really well are indeed your areas of interest. You need to do a self-exploration where you take up independent projects and then that will actually give you a feel for the type of work that you can expect when you come here for masters and then decide if that is something that you want to do. Picking up a specialization is very important. If you're a mechanical engineer, there's a good chance that you like automotive engineering, right? You would just think that, okay, I'm going to do my master's in automotive engineering. The biggest flaw there is, for example, say that you go into a university that has a very good vehicle dynamics program. The courses that you take are not directly going to teach you vehicle dynamics. They are first going to build your skill set in dynamics. Then all of a sudden, you are learning things like advanced dynamics, you are taking numerical analysis courses, you are learning MATLAB, you are writing programs that basically solve the equations of motion of this dynamic system. It could be a multi-body dynamic problem as well. That can totally be something that you were not interested in the first place. So that is why having this exposure is very, very important. If you're spending 40 lakhs, I would definitely recommend that you start working on these type of independent projects to get more exposed. All right, guys, with that, I'm going to conclude this video. If you have any questions feel free to comment okay and if you like this video share and subscribe thank you very much